sponsored by West Beer. Today we're here with Fraser Millward. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. It's day six and it's going well and I've slept. That's a good thing, that's a good <laughs> Which thing. Which is great, really, yeah. So have all your shows been going really well so far? Yeah, it's been good so far, good response and uh, it's getting busy. I feel it's just getting there. We're in the first week and I think this next weekend is going to be a big one, I think. So, yeah, it's exciting, it's really good. It's really getting busier, fun. which is good. It's yeah. People are liking it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it is so, tell us up. about the show. Yeah, it's basically it's a multi character comedy hour. So, I've got different sort of blokes running around. Um, it's quite high energy because I've sort of designed it for my own needs, which is bad. I've got a really low attention span. So, I've tried to design a show for people like me. It basically means it's just different things all the time. So I've got a British Transport Police uh, officer who's chasing a fare evader from a train station. He arrests the whole audience. I've got a coach driver who's lost his passengers and he takes everyone outside onto the coach with uh, consequences. Um, we've got a dangerous doctor and I've got a fail for show host and a sat nav that's gone mad. So it's good. It's good fun. Yeah, it's it's a, silly. That's a good thing. <laughs> so Daft. how would you describe your sort of style of comedy? Um, it's not too serious. Um, and it's um, it's uh, it's just quite physical. Um, it's quite um, it's quite interactive as well. So there's, so there's a lot of audience participation and things like yeah, that. Yeah, but not in a grotesque manner. Okay, but good. sort of you know everyone gets a nice little bit. Um, it's good fun. It's just a lot of fun, and hopefully people leave with a smile on their face and thinking, what was that? So you've done it was good. Um, I've done yes, I did um, a show in 2011. I did a solo show in 2011. Did a I've been in Smash Hit Fringe, so, right. but it's my second solo, yeah. yeah. So yeah. what do you like about performing at the end of the fringe? It literally is nothing else like it. It's, um, it's you get inspired as well. I mean, not only do you, you sort of spend six months writing away, and then you come up here, and then you realise that all these other people have been doing the same, and then you meet them, and it inspires you to carry on, which is a very important part of doing the fringe, because you are exhausted by the end of it. But it does inspire you to carry on, and gives you lots of new ideas, and it's just, yeah, it's just a hub of creativity. Yeah. And, there's nothing else like it on the planet, it really isn't. And I recommend that anyone who's never been, you need to do it before you die. Yeah, That's definitely. before the Taj Mahal, the pyramids, <laughs> they can wait. Yeah. So how do you come up with your material for the show? I meet people. So for example, the British Transport Police Officer is based on a British Transport Police Officer <laughs> who I met. He told me off for not standing behind the yellow line on a platform. But he spoke to me as if I was some sort of terrorist. So I thought, <laughs> you deserve to be in Edinburgh for 10 minutes. Uh, same with the coach driver. I met a coach driver. He was funny. Turned him into a character. Um, just, yeah, real life. You know, people, things, people chatting in the street, newspapers, television, everything is material. You know, it's all, it's all yeah. So when did you know that you wanted to do comedy as a career? And why did you feel like you were um, Probably when I was about... I think 14, 13, 14. Oh. Yeah, it's a good defence mechanism when you're in school. Yeah. It stops you getting smacked. And then that sort of uh, carried on. So I've not been smacked since 13, 14. It's really good, it's still working. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. my 30s now. So are there any other, other any of your sort of comedian friends or other performer friends that you get to see here? Because a lot of the yeah, it's quite comedians a lot, yeah. have said that like, it's really cool and social because you're all touring, you're not seeing yeah. each other and then coming and seeing each other. It's very want true. To see? There's, there's, there's loads of shows I want to yeah. see. I've, I've got about 45 shows I want to see. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see them all. A lot of them are at the same time as me. But um, there's loads of great sketch acts, great character comics, great stand ups. Um, just, you know, there's so much to see. <laughs> just trying to cram it all in. Basically, I'm taking it easy for the first week, sort of trying to sort myself out. And then now I'm ready to go and explore and enjoy. So have you done lots of other fringe, fringe festivals uh, yeah. all over the world? And other festivals oh no, 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 that? no. Um, only Edinburgh. I've done a couple of other festivals around the UK, but nothing international yet. I'd like to do something, that would be really good. Yeah. I'd like yeah. to do Australia, I'd like to go to Canada. That would be amazing, I'd love to do that. Um, but yeah, Edinburgh is my, my sort of uh, fringe yeah. experience. Yeah. Yeah. Really so good. what do you do when you're not performing? When I'm not performing, I... Um, I find I've got about, to put it this way, I'm self-employed and when I submit my tax return I have about 18 employers so that sort of gives you an idea. Basically yeah. I don't have any single job. Yeah. Anything that I can grab I'll do and to pay the money to do this sort of thing. So yeah, just lots of, lots of work. Yeah. It can be anything from events to kids entertainment to, you know. Yeah. So after the fringe, what have you got planned for the next year ahead? I'm going to start writing my next one. 
I was thinking about maybe writing a play based on one of the characters that I'm doing. I quite like that idea. And I've got some new characters ready to sort of start growing. They're little, they're like seeds at the moment. I'm going to make them grow into little weeds and then flowers and then trees. It takes a year to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming and speaking to us. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. I'm Mr. Michelle, you're watching Waffle TV.